In the previous video, we retrieved the cities from local storage and displayed them within the home page of the application. In this video, we're going to implement the ability to remove a city from the application. So where we're going to add the ability to remove a city from the application is here on this page, which is the city view component. And we're going to add it to the very bottom of the page beneath the seven day forecast. So within the async city view component below the weekly weather, let's create a new div and we'll apply some classes here. So first off, we want to set the display to flex. We want to align all the items to the center. We're going to add some spacing between the flex children with a class of gap two. We'll add some padding to the top and bottom. Then we want to make all the text white. And then we're going to add a cursor of a pointer. And we're also going to add a duration class on here of 150. And then lastly, we're going to add a hover effect here. And we want to change the font color to red. And then we'll say 500. And within this div, we're going to have an icon from Font Awesome. So I have this pulled up over here already. So we'll copy this code and we'll paste it in here. And then we'll also have a paragraph tag here and the content will say remove city. So when we click on this remove city, we want to run a function. So on this div, we're going to listen for a click and we're going to run a function we're going to create called remove city. And here inside of the script, let's go ahead and create this function. So we'll say remove city and we'll set this equal to a new arrow function. And for the removal of the city, we're also going to need access to the router because once we delete the city from the application, we're going to want to be redirected back to the home page. So we'll create a new reference here to our router and then we'll set this equal to use router. And inside of the function, the first thing that we want to do is get a reference to all the cities that we currently have stored inside of local storage. So we'll create a new variable and then we'll set this equal to JSON and then we'll say parse. And then we want to reference local storage and then we'll use the method get item and then we'll specify here our value of save cities. Now to remove a city from the application, we're going to reference a ID that we added to each item inside of this array of saved cities. And if we head over to our file tree here and we head to the site navigation, I'm referring to this right here where we use a package called UID to give each item inside of our saved cities array a unique ID. And within the async city view component, we don't have any way to access the ID of the current city that we're viewing. Now there are a few different ways we can go about resolving this issue, but the easiest way in my opinion is going to be to add the ID here to the URL as a query string. So within our file tree here, we want to head to the city list component and then we'll minimize this here. And where we're redirecting the user here, we want to add a new query. So in front of lat here, we'll create an ID and then we'll set this equal to the city and then we'll specify the ID here. And we also want to navigate to our site navigation component and do something similar. So if we head down here to our function called add city, we have a portion of this function where we're removing a query string called preview. Now we also want to add a query string here called the ID when we're adding a city to the application. So we'll reference our variable of query, then we're going to specify the ID, and then we're going to set this equal to the location object and then the ID. And now that we have access to the ID within this component, we can begin to remove cities from the application. So beneath this variable of cities, we're going to create a new variable and it'll be called updated cities. And we'll set it equal to our cities variable here, which is an array. And on here, we can run a method called filter. And what this method does, like the name suggests, is it's going to filter out our array based on a certain condition. So first off, this accepts a param, which will define a city, and then a callback. So what we want to do here is reference our param of city, and then we're going to look for a property of ID, and then we want to say not equal to, and then we're going to reference the route, and then we have our query, and then we have the ID on here. And this is going to remove that city from the array and create a new array, which is going to be called updated cities. Then we want to update local storage with our new array. So we'll reference local storage and we'll use the method set item and then we'll specify the save cities value here. And then what we want to say is JSON and then we'll do stringify and then we want to pass in here the updated cities. And lastly, we just want to push the user back to the home page so we can reference our router and use the push method here. And then we can pass in an object and we'll have a name property here and we want to specify home. And now if we navigate to the bottom of our page here and we click on remove city, it's going to remove the city and also push us back here to the home page.